Hi, and welcome to Reading with Ms. Momo. I'm so glad that you could join me today. This is going to be the ending of the series of Dr. Seuss books. We've been celebrating Reading Across America and Dr. Seuss books, and I've read at two schools and thoroughly enjoyed reading about Dr. Seuss at those schools. And so today, we're going to read a different book that I don't know if you've even heard of before, and it's about pets, and it is a Dr. Seuss book. So I want you to watch and listen, and you're going to have to make some decisions in this book. Let's join me now. What Pet Should I Get by Dr. Seuss? We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Dad said we could have one. Dad said we he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. Remember, Dr. Seuss books always have rhyming words. So be looking for the rhyming words on each page to see how they rhyme, okay? I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands, so we shook. I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat, and she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. They had found two pets they liked, but they could only take home one because Dad said so. He said, only bring home one pet. So they have to make a decision. And sometimes decisions are hard to make. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now what could Kay and I do to make up our minds? A pup and a kitten. They looked like good fun. Now, which should we pick? We can only pick one. There was a kitten and a pup and a dog and a cat, and they can only pick one. How about that? Make up your mind. The cat or the dog, the kitten or the pup. Oh, boy. It is something to have to make your mind up. It is hard sometimes to have to make your mind up, isn't it? Making decisions is not an easy thing. Then I looked all around. I saw something with wings. I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. And there was a bird singing, and there was a rabbit peeking out of the hole. So now, instead of two choices, then four choices, now they have six choices. But they can only take home how many pets? One pet. Because their dad said only one pet. Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all the pets that I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know mother told us to be back by noon. Oh, no, look at their expressions. They don't know what to do. They are trying to figure it out, and they have to be home by noon. So they have to pick out a pet very, very soon. And all I, and I could have done it, I could have, I bet. I could have said what pet we should get. But do you know what Kay did? I mean, look at all the pets they have to choose from. And then what is Kay going to do? Do you know what she did? She said, fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. All of a sudden, she saw an aquarium with fish. And all these other pets they were trying to figure out. And then all of a sudden, she thinks the pet fish might be the wish. Then I saw a new kind. And they were good too. How could I pick one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one. That is what my dad said, but how can I make up that mind in my head? And look at all the different choices, and his head is just spinning. He doesn't know what to do. He is just so frustrated. Make up your mind. 
Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad say to be home by noon. He has to be home by noon, only with one pet. He has to make up his mind. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but our house is so small, this thing on a string would bump, bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So the thing on the string is not going to be the one. So maybe some other good kind of pet. Another kind maybe is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet who is tall, a pet who fits in a space that is small. My mother might like this pet best of all. He's tall. He can fit in a place that's small. Maybe that would be the pet. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yint. Dad would like us to have a good yint, but how do I know he would pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet? How can you make up your mind what to get? But, and look at the yint under the tent. It's a big old yint under a little bitty tent. And they know their dad isn't going to buy a tent, even though he might let them have a yen. What if we took one of each kind of pet? Then our house will be full of pets that we would get. No. Dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we'll end up with none. So they can only have one, and if they don't hurry up and choose by noon, they're going to have none. So what would you do? Which one would you choose? Which one would be the best for their house and their family? I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up the mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat. I picked one out fast, and then that was that. And here they are, they're going home, and look, they have their pet in a basket. I see two eyes. I wonder what the pet was that they chose. What pet do you think that they chose? I don't know, do you? Maybe you could write another story and write about what pet that you think they chose or draw a picture of the pet that you think they chose or talk about what pet you think would be best for them to choose. You know, we all have to make decisions. Even adults have to make decisions sometimes. And sometimes making up your mind is very difficult. But you have to decide the good things and the bad things, the pros and the cons. Maybe write them on a paper. The pros and the cons, the good and the bad. And that sometimes helps you make up your mind. Or maybe you could talk it over with someone Maybe someone who knows more about it than you, or an adult, or a friend. Or maybe you can draw it out of a hat. Put the different ideas in a hat and just draw one. There are so many different ways to make up decisions. But you know what? God will help you make decisions if you just pray and ask him to. He'll help you and guide you and help you find out what it is that you need to do best for you and for your family. Until we meet again, smile and be happy. Have a great day and God bless.